Good morning, folks. <clears throat> so, I just recently finished up two two more knives this week. Uh, first one here is a Scottish Dirk. It's got a, thir a, a 12 inch blade. Overall, it's like 17 inches. Um, it's Damascus. It's 1080, 1520, and 5160 with a walnut, a stacked wooden handle. Basically, I took uh, stacks of wood, dropped them down to the tang, and, and then pinned it right here, as you can see right there. It's got a nickel silver bolster. Uh, this here is uh, going down the road a little bit from where I live to a gentleman uh, who's really looking forward to it. Had a lot of problems with making it, but here it is. So I'll need to sharpen it, and there's going to have to be a leather sheath being made for that. We'll set this out of the way. The second one you hear, see here, so this is a little boot dagger. It's got a six inch blade, about a five inch handle. It's got a brass guard. Same thing, it's a stacked walnut handle. There's a six, uh, how many did I do it? 16 layers and then one here on the end is thicker. So I can put a pin through it. So again, it has a, me a mechanical lock so it's not gonna fall apart. And then of course it's glued as well. So this one here is going to somewhere in Tennessee. The person that ordered it, whom I happen to know personally, is the wife of a friend of mine, is um, she wanted me to prank wrap it. And me being the, the guy I am, I'm happy to oblige. So we're actually gonna film um, me prank wrapping this. So the first step, we're gonna give it the fiction. because we're going to be using Gorilla Tape on this, so it's going to be a lot of fun. And the person that gets it, I feel sorry for him, because I'm going to wrap the shit out of it. The irony is, is he's going to need a knife to open his bag. So, so we're going to have the first layer right here, so just to kind of keep it nice and closed off. Gorilla tape. So we'll start on this in here and we're going to wrap it. Oh, damn, it's kind of sticky. This is, this is all I'm doing. I've got plenty more stuff I'm going to be doing here shortly. Okay. Yeah, I'm going to have to do something about covering that up. Otherwise, it'll just slide right out. And what's the point? So, next is uh, yes, I'm using a chisel as a knife. Which is ironic, I know. I'm, I'm a knife baker and I, I don't have a knife for this. So here we go. So we're going to pull these out. And we're going to zip tie. Customer requested uh, that I use zip ties. So I'm happy to oblige. Let's make it uniformed. Okay. I'll cut those off in just a second. So I'm going to put a round of zip ties on this.
All right, so now we're going to nip these off. And actually, when I was talking to the customer when they were placing the order, they were like, hey, could you prank wrap this? I was like, yeah, sure. I said, I got you. Don't worry. And, and I asked her, I was like, do you want me to put pack it with glitter? I was like, I mean, we can get like a couple pounds of glitter. It's not a problem. She was like, no, um, I just want a good prank. I don't want to get this out from the family. I was like, all right, that's it's fine, whatever. So a little disappointed on that, but a little bit of fun. So, so then I'm gonna do one more wrap of paper because I got the knife showing here the end. So we'll do it like this. I'm probably going to end up using this whole roll. It'll be totally worth it. So. Okay. There we go. Now we go this way again. Just cut the tape. Close that off. I usually always just work with duct tape. I've never. I've never used this kind of tape before. So, here we go. The good news is, is this is going to be very uh, safely wrapped when I ship it. <laughs> Not that I don't do that already anyway, but just say it. I'm almost out of tape, actually. So, what do you guys think? Another round of zip ties? Absolutely, because I don't really have anything else to use them for. I don't know, I think these are gonna fit. Oh, yeah, they'll fit. I need to get a pair of pliers. So a bit of grip on that. Well, I don't think. Oops. I think I made it too thick with tape to be able to put any more zip ties on. Yep. Can't put any more zip ties on it, so. We'll leave that one there as sort of like a uh, foreshadowing of things to come. Well, let's see here. Please say we do one more. Let's do one more. What the hell? 
Let's start it over here this time. Oh shucks, I'm out of tape. That's okay. I got another row. Again, my handy dandy knife. Goodness. There we go. There. Jesus. All right. Now here we go. Get the second roll going. Two rolls of tape. Second roll of tape. There we go. Gonna have some fun having this thing unwrapped. Alright, there we go. That thing is wrapped. Yeah, let's put one on the end here. We don't want the tape to come off too bad or too easily. One down the length. I told my wife, I'm like, yeah, I'm gonna buy some stuff so that I can prank wrap a present or prank wrap a knife for a customer for the person that they're buying it for. And then we'll have the rest over leftover material that we can use for whatever. So I don't know if we're having left over tape true. Alright, so now the next step we put it in the box. There we go. That's not coming out of the box. It's in there. It's pretty good. So now, so the thing with, with me when you order a knife for me, so whatever you want, you're gonna get. Um, you want a dagger, you can get a dagger. You want a freaking uh, medieval sword, I can make you a medieval sword. I've even made a medieval flail. 
A flail is one of those things to stick with a chain attached to it with a spiked ball. And then a mace is just a rod or, or a handle with the spikes attached directly to the handle. So you can make either one of those. Um, if you want your gift prank wrapped, I'll prank wrap it for you. I'm going to charge you for materials. Because, I mean, I mean, you know, a couple rolls of duct tape and some zip ties aren't exactly free, but I'll do it for you. If you want me to put glitter in it, I would love to do that. Glitter's like my favorite thing to do to people. So now we're going to gorilla tape the box. Honestly, I'm not going to put tape and completely encase this box in tape. Because now I can't find my knife. We're done with that. Okay. There we go. I'm getting a little sweaty here. <clears throat> Usually I just use clear um, packaging tape, but you know, I might as well just take this all the way to the end. There we go. That's for Call it good. So there you go, folks. A prank wrapped box. The only thing left now is to put the label on, and there is a prank involved with that. But since it's going to involve a person's address, I'm not going to put it on the video. So, but there you go. Till next time. Broken Anvil Blades, check me out. BrokenAnvilBlades.com. Any knife you want, shipped anywhere in the country. Have a good day.